Yes, sir. It's your boy B Hayes. We back with another one, guys. So AMC ended the day at eleven dollars and ninety eight cents, down over four percent, guys. So we was definitely wrong about today. AMC would have a better day overall if you know we wasn't getting manipulated and beaten on as bad as we getting beat, guys. You guys could see as clear as day. A blind man could see as clear as day as the overall market started to trend to the upside. Throughout the day, we had several spikes to the downside, back to the upside, back to the downside, back to the upside. It happened just like that, back to back to back to back. But each time we spiked up on today, whenever we did get some traction to the upside, we never seen AMC gain any momentum, guys. They steady beat it and hammer it down, got shot down today. So, like I say, guys, we got, you know, everyone against us coming from every single angle, every single direction. But eventually, as the market continue to, you know, push up severely, AMC ain't going to have no choice but to run, guys. They steady trying to hold the beast back, but the longer they hold it back, that's the greater the potential it's going to have whenever it skyrocket. We know whenever this thing does get legs, it could go and it goes quick, guys. So, like I say, I know you guys getting tired. I know you frustrated. It's been a long ride. It's been a long journey. But while we waiting, while we in the mix of all this, now is the time to be taking full advantage and loading up, guys, for your future. You need to be thinking of, a, you know, three years from now, five years from now, 10 years from now. I say three years just for the people that don't have patience and a little hard for them to wait. Three years sound a little better than five years. But three years perspective from right now, the prices that's reflecting in today's market could change a lot of people's lives, guys. I'm talking a lot of people be caught up in the fact that they need a lot, a lot of money in order to invest or in order to see, you know, astronomical returns. And that could be, you know, the furthest from the truth. With only a thousand, two thousand dollars, it's quality companies out there that could easily, you know, give you the returns of over, you know, 300, 500, maybe even 600 percent within the next few years guys and so you most definitely want to be up on that guys and some of those companies that i'm looking at that's definitely at a crazy discount that could potentially give you know crazy gains in the near future are tesla neo uh uh lucid lucid motors trying to get them all out most definitely my evs definitely marijuana companies as well and definitely uh walmart I'm looking to see Walmart, you know, do well over the next few years as it already been doing well. Apple, of course, and also, you know, some other companies that's more riskier, but they still have the potential to do three, four, five hundred percent in the next few years, which will be Snapchat. If it don't, you know, that's why I say these are riskier because we know Snapchat is on the edge right now with all these other competition social media platforms that's coming about but it's uh snapchat another one would be facebook if the metaverse if people get caught up in that fantasy and that go crazy how people expecting it to do that could also be a you know a crazy winner but these are speculative plays right here that i'm calling out the end the first bunch those are plays you know that i believe is going to almost definitely sustain themselves and continue to do well over the next few years also, in the more riskier category, we got Upstart. I believe Upstart could give 500, 600% returns, guys. But we know they're risky because being for the fact that inflation is going through the roof, interest rates has also went up significantly. So less people are going to be interested in taking out loans. That's as of now, though. I do believe that will change and people will be taking out loans just as they was before once. Uh, you know, people start to get paid more money and they're making the same thing and it's feeling like the same life they was living before everything went up. So those companies as well, guys, I got a lot more, a few more. Just stay up to date with the channel. We'll be talking about more companies that we'll be investing in or that we think is going to see, you know, crazy, crazy returns as the market starts to recover because some stocks is going to, you know, exceed very well over the others that's in the same uh area as them the same sectors so you definitely want to be invested in the ones that's going to give some of the biggest returns so know there's most definitely want to be risk guys risk involved in the market 
it's always risk. That's why you never want to put in no more than you ain't willing to lose. And make sure you invest in quality companies, the ones that you have your biggest bag, your biggest bag in, got majority of your eggs in one basket. Make sure it's in a very, you know, good, good, stable company, guys. So you already know going into tomorrow, we definitely want to see AMC hold up over eleven dollars and fifty eight cents. Eleven fifty eight will be a key level. If AMC break eleven dollars and fifty eight cents, we could potentially come down back down to the low tens, mid ten dollar range, guys, before you know uh consolidating and seeing if we could possibly go even lower. If we hold above eleven fifty eight and the market decides to be very bullish on tomorrow, which of course we're gonna have some ups and downs, it's going to be a spike almost, you know, more than likely. So if we hold up above eleven dollars and fifty eight cents, we could look for, you know, some stability and to hold up before the next push, guys, because that push for AMC is definitely coming soon. And, you know, ain't too much you want to be able to hold it back. You already know what to do. Add your boy on Instagram at the B. Hayes Show. I love y'all. We out. And God bless you. We go.